I bring you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. There is nothing in death or life, in things present or things to come, nothing in all creation that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Thanks be to God. Amen. You hold the nations in your hand, yet know and love us all. By your spirit you gather us, and in Christ you make us one. As we come together, show us who we are, what we can be, and where we should go. Through Jesus Christ, our rescuer, our... Sorry, sorry. The prophet Isaiah proclaims God's chosen one, whose gentle strength will put things right. Here is my servant whom I am uphold, my chosen one in whom I take delight. I have put my spirit on my servant. He will establish justice among the nations. He will not shout or raise his voice or make himself heard in the street. He will not break a crushed reed or snuff out a smoldering wick. Unfailingly, he will establish justice. 
He will never falter or be crushed until he sets justice on earth, while coasts and islands await his teaching. Christ is coming. Be glad and believe. Let us pray. You are the desire of nations and the deepest longings of the human heart. Come to us with your gentle strength, the strength that does not falter or flinch in the face of injustice, the gentle strength that supports all who are faltering and wavering. Help us, Lord, to embrace and embody your gentle strength and your tireless work for justice. In the name of the Prince of Peace we pray, so it might be. The Apostle Paul tells us how Christ makes us God's children, equal, beloved, and united. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son. Why lies he in such low estate, where ox and ass are sleeping? Good Christians hear, for sinners hear, the silent word is pleading. What does it mean that Jesus was born not in a palace or a comfortable home, but outside in a cave? for farm animals. Against the backdrop of an imperial occupying power counting its subject population in order to levy taxes, a servant of peace is born. A reading from Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place which God has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child and all that heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all the words and pondered them in her heart. When the, shep the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as they had been told them. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise a child, and he was called Jesus, which means liberator, deliverer, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Christ is coming. Be, ga be glad and believe. Let us pray. Loving God, you announced Jesus' birth to those considered outsiders working in the field, working long hours, even nights, just to make ends meet. Remind us that to embrace the Christ child, we must embrace the poor and the others and those considered, and those, and those pushed to the margins of the society. Help us, us to see them as you do. In the name of Prince, in the name of Prince of Peace, we pray. So might so it be. How can the fullness of the divine, far beyond our imagination, be expressed in the confines of one human being, one human life, unstinting, unprotected, prepared for nail and thorn, constricted into maleness, and of a woman born? Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, Please follow along as we declare our affirmation of faith. The reign of Christ comes not by conquest, domination, and manipulation, but by gracious love, gladly given, and willingly received. The reign of Christ comes near wherever people covenant together and say, Christ, we are your body. Live in our hearts. Christ, we are your people govern our lives. Christ, we are your witnesses. Send us out in your name. Paul reminds us that the story of Jesus is not just a tale to be told, but a new way of living. <clears throat> As you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him and established in faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and, if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, 
Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful. Christ has come, rejoice, believe, and follow. A prayer for peace. Gracious God, Jesus shows a new way to live, a way that leads us on the paths of justice and peace for everyone. Encourage us when we fail in this new way of living. Strengthen us when the way is hard. Let your lights shine through our lives to your glory. In the name of the Prince of Peace, so so might it be. To share with you a benediction that comes um, from the ancient Celtic tradition. The deep peace of the running wave to you. The deep peace of the flowing air to you. The deep peace of the quiet earth to you. The deep peace of the shining stars to you. The deep peace of the Prince of Peace to you. Amen.